Hello YouTube and welcome to day number 11 of this uh, summer on the first year uh, Stardew Valley Let's Play here in Handball Show. Man, this is going to be a tricky series to do an intro on. So let's look at the valley or the thingy. Starting tomorrow, an unusual amount of shells and co uh, corals are expecting to wash up on the beach all around the world. I'm no scientist, but I have heard it's something to do with the crab's mating season. At many rate, you make some good coin. Oh, cool! All right. Let's see. Did the yeah the iron bar did get finished during the night? So let's grab that one and craft ourselves another sprinkler. Oh, this is cool. I like sprinklers. Alright. So, if we place one... No, this is not gonna be right, because this, this will water... If I place it here... Then it will water this one, this one, this one, and this one, right? You, 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 and you are going to be water, right? I think so. Yeah, it's yeah, it's not a yeah. Well, well, we'll just have to deal with it as we go along. But we still have a ton of other plants we need to water uh, manually for now. So. You need to be watered, and you need some water. Same for you, 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 and everyone. Yeah, I, I, I really feel I like this watering thing. Nothing has grown up yet. Um, and also, it is the Lua Festival today, so we should find something to, well, to bring with us to the festival to put in the stew or whatever they told us we were supposed to do. Okay, how are we? Well, I don't think we will be able to finish up this. Come on, come on. Oh, there we go. Alright. I mean, it's not that hard. So yeah, usually the, f the festivals kind of kind of ends the episode a little bit earlier, so I, I do have a feeling that this episode will be a rather short one, but um, there we go, the lua has begun at the beach. Alright. So let's see here. There we go, everything is watered and good to go. Let's say hello to the kitty cat. Hey, kitty cat! There's nothing in here. Alright. What do we need? Well, first of all, let's uh, dump these things here. I mean, we don't need any of this, do we now? But we do need... Uh, what did we figure out? 23... 68... Okay, we figured out that we were gonna bring a grape. You know what? In case they don't want grape, let's bring something else as well. Uh, we could bring a piper... Oh, this one. All right, one of those two should do it. All right, are we ready for this? Yes, we are. Come on, let's do this. Oh. All right. I thought we kind of just were... Oh, there is another grape up here. And I do like that we get two every time we forage something. Ah, that is the best, don't you think? Did we... Do you think Pierre is open? Oh, it's locked. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. I mean, it's it's this time, isn't it? Everybody is down at the beach having a party. We are probably arriving a little bit late, but who cares? We have the best ingredients ever to the thingy. Well, look at this. Hello, everybody. Hello, Louis. Look sharp, the governor is here for his usual uh, annual visit. If 
you brought something for the potluck, make sure to add it to the cauldron. Oh, I guess that's it. Hello, Governor. What a lovely occasion. It's always a joy to visit Stardew Valley. Is it now? I must speak to the monsieur about purchasing a vacation, vacation home here. All right. All right, whatever you say then, mister. These blasted sand flies keep landing on my food. All right. This high protein, protein source. Wow, you don't get hot peppers. Could you like this in a big city? Well, I don't know, maybe. This is tiring, honey. Are you ready to visit the buffet soon? Oh, he doesn't like dancing. Oh, poor guy. Oh, you stepped on my foot there. I don't think he's a good dancer. Oh, all right. Hello. She's unresponsive. Okay, are we doing a little dance here? No? I'm bored. All right. Vincent isn't a good dancer. Oh, who are you? Hello, George. That music, that's too loud. Can't have a little peace and quiet to enjoy the ocean? I don't know. Ah, the smell of ocean takes me back many years, long before you were born. All right. Old hag. <laughs> Hello, Haley. I would dance. I do not want to get sweaty. All right. Now it's perfect weather for a beach party, huh? Uh, I'm not kind of a beach party person. It's tiring to socialize with it. everyone. I'd rather watch the sea. Well, I completely agree with you, Abigail. Oh, look at there. There we have a wizard. The mer people are curious about your festivals. Mm. Our festivals. They become upset when you litter into the ocean. Yeah, I completely agree. I mean, you don't know how many. Well, times I've tried to catch a fish and only got a pair of broken glasses. And when I think about it, there is only one person in this uh, entire village that actually used glasses. And that's the doctor. Doctor is the main... Yeah, I think there is... Yeah, I think we have a problem with the doctor here. Hi there, Hannibal. Taking a breather? Actually... To tell you the truth, I'd rather be fishing right now. You know what? I completely agree with you. Uh, let's see, who haven't we talked to? S Sebastian. One year, Sam put a pound of anchovies in the potluck soup. Ooh. Ever wonder why Sam leads the town in community service hours? Wait, what? Ever wonder why Sam leads the town in community service hours? I don't know. I don't get it. Was it supposed to be something funny? Ah, ah, free buffet. Buffet. One of the perks of living here. Enjoy it, kid. All right. Oh, what are you doing? Barney, if you brought something for the soup, climb the stairs on the other side and throw it in. So what do we, did we decide? This one, right? You added a grape to the soup. Well, I, I kind of don't know how I feel about it. Everybody else put random stuff in the thing and we're gonna eat it afterwards. I put fresh vegetable... <clears throat> Let me try this again. I put fresh vegetables from my garden into the communal soup pot. Alright, look. This is the guy with the glasses. Actually, there's two people. So it's either Pierre or the doctor, which I can't remember his name. Hmm, maybe if I get on the governor's good side, he'll give me my business tax break. Uh, maybe, maybe. 
I wonder if he liked aged whiskey. Hmm. Do I smell something fishy here? Now, if only the mayor would stop schmooshing with him all afternoon. Good point. Hello, Jody. I hope the soup is good this year. Well, are you actually gonna eat it? Oh, fool. But what else is there to do besides eating? Well, I don't know. All right, what is your name? Harvey. Good thing I came with the sunscreen. Well, probably. You have something to spare? I wonder if Maru could use some sunscreen on her shoulders. Ooh. Whatever Linus is roasting smells awfully good. All right. Let's see. Hello, Linus. A slow, continuous roast is the key to achieving the perfect roast. I completely agree, and it looks like... I don't know. But it definitely looks good. I mean, everything cooked over an open fire is good, right? Hello, oh, Penny. We do this festival every year to give the governor a taste of everything that the valley has to offer. Governor? Who cares? Why should I care about some random old guy? Well, he sets the taxes probably and he has a lot to say about how you should, yeah, you know, politics. Mayor Lewis hope it will get the governor's... Wait, 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 let's try this again. I'm horrible at reading. Mayor Lewis hopes it will get the governor on our good side. That's why he's neurotic about the way the soup tastes. All right. Now, who are you, old fellow? Malone. I'll be back here by the trees. The air is a lot cooler. All right. I mean, have we done? No, we haven't. How's the farm coming along? It must be a busy season for you. Yeah, actually, we're kind of working on making it a less busy season by mining iron and making water sprinklers and stuff like that. I woke up last... wait, I woke up late. Stepped out of the door and found myself in the middle of all this. Alright. <laughs> I forgot that today was the Lua. Oh. How could you? Okay, I think we have talked to everybody. Abigail... I think we have. Clint... Yeah, there isn't any more people now, right? Alright, let's... Uh, can we, like, put more into this... Uh... No, only one item each. Alright. This is how the governor is going to die. Should we move forward with the Lua? The governor seems a little hungry. Sure, let's start. Why not? Well, folks, it's time once again for the potluck ceremony. Ceremony. I trust that you all put high-quality ingredients in their pot this year. We don't want to make the governor regret his visit to the valley. Well, I hope you like grapes. Well, governor, will you do us the honor of tasting the soup? Of course. I've been looking forward to this all year. All right, Governor. Time for you to die. I mean, <laughs> get a taste of the soup. Dot, dot, dot. Okay. Uh, it kind of looks like a little smiley. Oh, that was a very pleasant soup. The produce from this valley never disappoints. Well, you know what? I just used a grape I found laying on the roadside. Mm, tasty. You all did very well today. Thank you, Lewis. Now, who else wants some soup? Oh. All right. I guess there will be a lot of people not working tomorrow due to some sort of stomach flu. I guess. <clears throat> 
The Lua was a success. Good thing I brought something tasty for the soup. Time to head home. Alright. And there we go. We're home! Cool. Well, that was uh, a day well spent, I guess. Anyway. Yeah, let's go back to bed and get ready for the next day. What do you think, Candy? Kitty? Living off the land. Have we watched the TV for the day? Well, anyway. Oh, yeah, we did. Because tomorrow we're going to the beach and pick seashells. <clears throat> Seashells? Yeah, seashells. So, uh, yeah, I really hope you liked this episode. If you did, don't be afraid to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. But most of all, don't forget to keep smiling! <laughs>